Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on April 27th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything else affecting humanity. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, large plasma filament ripping away from the Southern Hemisphere, as well active sunspot region, earth facing, Lots of activity on the sun as of late. You can see that large plasma filament rip away, curl away. Fiery sunspot regions getting ready to depart. But if, watch that dark line in the bottom here, southern hemisphere. Large plasma filament ripping away towards us, but most likely underneath of us. Looking here at a multi-spectrum. You can watch that plasma filament dance and then rip away. Amazing sun as of late. Showing all of her might. Even giving us a coronal hole, which is developing now Earth facing. And as well, a couple dark regions there coming in behind the sunspot. Looking at the Lasco 2 image from the last couple days of activity on the sun, and you can see a lot of energy has been thwarted our way. But as I said, most likely underneath of us when it comes to the southern hemisphere filament eruption. Coronal mass ejection. A CME heading our way. But as I said, most likely underneath. Looking here at our real-time solar wind as we are yeah, calm at about 412 kilometers per second. We saw a spike up to 515, but still geomagnetic, geomagnetic activity remains low. Looking here at ISWA's prediction spiral from that CME filament eruption. And you can see it's heading towards Earth, but most likely underneath. Looking at the Schumann resonance for today, a power of 26, a mirror of 62, whatever that means. So an amplitude power of 26, equality of 9.3, frequency max of 8.07. Looking here at earthquakes for the last 24 hours, it's we've seen an uptick just recently, and most recently uh, 4.5 in Taiwan, as well 4.5 Philippines, 35 kilometer depth, 4.7 here, Bonin Islands, Japan region as well, 5.0, Mariana's Trench. Our largest earthquake the last 24 hours here, Papua New Guinea, a 6.1 earthquake. Let's get to the 6.1. Yeah, the 6.1 and as well followed by 5.5, 5.7, many aftershocks in the region. 4.9 here, Port Old... Uh, Vanuatu, Port Vila, as well Kermadex taken off today with a 5.9 earthquake, 10 kilometer depth, followed by many aftershocks. So lots of activity through the Kermadex and into Papua New Guinea. 4.9 here, Indonesia, just southeast of Krakatoa. 4.6 to report here, Xinjiang, China, as well 4.5 Pakistan. And seismicity coming back to Croatia here, 3.3 reported. 5.0 here, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, 10 kilometer depth. 
Quiet through the South American plate, only one lonely earthquake to report here today. A quick Chile, 4.2. As well here through the Caribbean plate, 4.0. And as well, 2.6 here, Puerto Rico. So it has definitely spread away from the equator now to the poles. Looking here, most recently a 4.0, the largest on North American plate today. White City, New Mexico as well, a rare earthquake, Texas. 2.8 there, California, and as well, 2.5 Wyoming. That's right, we've seen some earthquakes recently here. This is the last seven days for earthquakes in the region. So 2.1 Kelly, Wyoming yesterday, south of the Yellowstone Lake, and now north with a 2.5 and a small one we are Wyoming. So that's the last seven days in the region. Looking across the Midwest, you can see the areas that are swarming and the earthquakes are continuing in Lake Tahoe. Increased seismicity through Alaska here. They saw a 4.8 at a 42 kilometer depth. As well, Adak, Alaska, 3.8. And Russia with a 4.2, 62 kilometer depth. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. It's been, we've seen an uptick. We're sitting at about 290 earthquakes for the last 24 hours. Lots through the Kermadec and as well Papua New Guinea today. An increased seismicity through Alaska, but still looking at quiet compared to everywhere else. North American plate as well quiet through Russia and West Aleutians. A lot of energy and activity here through southwestern Ring of Fire. Increased seismicity into the Asian plate and then rare earthquakes here as well. Both of them reported yesterday on the west coast of Africa. 4.1 and a 4.3. And that's the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Just have a plan and be ready. Be earthquake ready. Be disaster ready. Have you got a go bag with everything, all essentials in it? It's probably wise to do one backpack with all of your essentials in it. First aid and everything else. Emergency. Let's have a look here. The five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and as well Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base Calgary, Alberta. Is Yeah, we're going to see some beautiful temperatures here. Looking at the temperatures increasing daily until look at this on Friday we're looking at probably 22 degrees that's going to be the warmest day of the year yet in the city and through parts of southern Alberta but not quite through the whole province you can see a cold low there hanging as hanging around and as well that's going to be stretching down through northern Ontario later this week low pressure system scooting out of central U.S. is already bringing tornado warnings across central U.S. and eastward. But most likely going to fizzle out as cool temperatures are still lingering north of you. Watch later in the week. You could see some extreme weather here in the Gulf states. Atmospheric river of moisture heading into B.C. and northward. And then another low pressure system moving in for the long range forecast. So yeah, wet week ahead of you through the BC coast. Overlooking the Atlantic, big high pressure ridge, stagnant, low pressure system heading into Europe this week, parts of central Europe. You could see some, your first thunderstorm weather for the season and as well cool temperatures for parts of the United Kingdom as you've got a couple lingering lows from the north there keeping things cool but watch this low pressure system scoot North Atlantic below Spain 
and then into the Mediterranean and northward into Europe. Interesting jet stream, to say the least. No major weather systems to report here over the Indies, nor Southeast Asia, no major weather systems in Russia. Things seem to have calmed down in our atmosphere over the past few days. Waiting for that full transition into spring. Rain lingering around for parts of China and Thailand this week. No major weather systems for Indonesia nor Malaysia. Australia, dry. Cool temperatures as well, very cool temperatures, parts of southeastern and southwestern Australia. Big, intense, low pressure systems vigorously spinning just south of you. High pressure ridge moving into New Zealand, going to keep things dry for a few days. No major weather systems heading into Hawaii. A couple days, daily evaporation rains as things heat up. Big low pressure systems in the Pacific still, North Pacific. Overlooking South America. Heavier rains towards Colombia and parts of Ecuador into Panama. Other than that, no major weather systems. Interesting developments here in the South Pacific. Huge high pressure ridge here ramping those low pressure systems right up. Intertropical convergence, equatorial moisture being thrown to the southern hemisphere. No major weather systems here for Africa either, except for parts of South Africa. You could see coastal rains, possibly heavy at times later in the week, heading northward. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern much love and thanks everybody for tuning in to the Daily Do. Looking at space weather and everything disasters affecting humanity. Much love to you all. I want to thank everybody for joining the family. Don't forget to hit the like button and of course the notification bell. And set it to all so you don't miss an update. I see a lot of people commenting that they're not getting notified. Feel free to join the, our Discord as well. The Do Discord is up. Many links in the description below. Please check them out. Scroll down to the comment section, say hi, tell me where you're watching from. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.